India is about to receive the first of two Russian-built Grigorovich-class guided missile frigates by the end of November 2024. This marks a significant milestone in India's naval capabilities, following delays caused by the ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict. The 4,000-ton multi-role frigate is currently at Kaliningrad's Yentar shipyard, where over 200 Indian officers and sailors have been stationed for months, preparing for its arrival. The ship, set to be named INS Tushul, is part of a $1 billion deal signed in 2018 for four Grigorovich-class frigates. These vessels come with advanced stealth features, BrahMos supersonic cruise missiles, and a suite of sensors designed for various mission profiles. INS Tushal will be officially handed over and commissioned by India's Defense Minister Rajnath Singh during his upcoming visit to Russia in December. The second frigate, INS Tamal, is expected to follow in early 2025. In addition to these Russian-built frigates, two more are being constructed in India under a technology transfer agreement with Russia at the Goa shipyard. These ships will be launched and commissioned in the coming years, further strengthening India's naval power in the Indian Ocean region. India is also expanding its undersea warfare capabilities. The lease of a nuclear-powered attack submarine from Russia, initially expected by 2027, has now been delayed until 2028. India's second nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine, INS Aragat, has already been commissioned, and the third, INS Aridaman, is expected to join the fleet early next year. The government has also approved a $5 billion project to develop two indigenous nuclear-powered attack submarines, although these are expected to take at least a decade to complete. These acquisitions highlight India's strategic push to enhance its naval and air defense capabilities, particularly as tensions rise with neighboring China and Pakistan. The induction of INS Tushal and its sister ships will add to India's fleet of Russian-origin warships, which already includes Talwar-class and Teg-class frigates. As India continues to modernize its defense forces, these new assets will significantly strengthen its position in the Indo-Pacific region. Thank you.